Hey everybody, Mr. Sunglasses here. Got my sunglasses, my NES controller, there's NES game right up there. Must be time for some more NES action. Today we're going to be playing a little game called Arch Rivals, a uh, basket brawl. It's a port of an arcade game that came out in 89. This came out in 90 um, on the NES, and then it came out on all the 16-bit, well, not really, it came out on all the, the uh, Sega systems in 92. So it never made it to Super Nintendo that I'm aware of. Uh, just NES arcade and then uh, Genesis and Game Gear. Um, you basically play as two basketball teams who can punch each other. And that's that's how you steal the ball. You know, you don't need skill, you just punch the bitch. Anyways, let's check this bad boy out. And it's always just those two teams on the NAs. Mohawk, because he seems to. So it's tough on me. Block! No. Yeah, British Knights, baby. Let's shoot. You only control your character in this version. So, uh, you can command your other guy to do stuff, but... I had British Knights when I was in 7th grade. I'm supposed to throw him by the attack, obviously. No, oh, that ref looks round at me. Lots of British Knights advertisements, and you thought advertisements and video games was a new thing. This game is all about the British Knights, baby. And the boobies. Ah, and the punchings! Hi! In the arcade, in the 16-bit versions, there was, like, drinks on the floor you could pick up and throw and all kinds of other stuff. Um, this is, you know, basic. By comparison, but it is any after. The sprites are big and colorful-ish. I mean, you got white guys, you got black guys, you got two different jerseys. But they are distinctive characters. If you, if you go through the characters, they, they all do have their own little bit different look. Even if everyone's noses appears to be some sort of like black square. Ah, oh, see they're tripping the red uh, the ref. Run around little ref. Those kids look thrilled with that I scored a point. Yay, boobies, boobies, boobies. Uh, music's a little old. Ding, 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 ding. 
Oh, uh, from down Florida town. Two points for me. <laughs> I like that guy in the background in the audience. It's kind of like toothpaste colored waving like an idiot. And then there's another version of him. This is a different color blue. Hooray for this. And that one guy who looks like he's drooling or something. When that cheerleader was cheering. I don't know why the coach has that black box behind him. Huh. Actually, every audience member has like a little black square around him, it seems like. Especially the coaches. Of... Is it suspicious that the ref is wearing the enemy's color for pants? I think it is. Oh, at the buzzer, he ducks it. <laughs> well, there you have it. There's really not too much more to go with when it comes to arch rivals. Um, it's a solid enough basketball game. I definitely like it better than the all-pro basketball game. Not just because you get to punch people, but it just feels, I mean, um, the left-right view is really kind of, especially on the NES, really the better view than the, you know, top, up, down view. It just it doesn't work as well. And with, the, with that weird camera transition thing, that was weird. Um, I mean, yeah, overall, I think that the left-right view just automatically makes us better than all pro. And it's two on two, so it's a little bit easier to keep track of. The characters can be bigger. You can do a little bit more action and animation and color because of that. And you punch people. So overall, uh, solid basketball, fun basketball game for the NES. Mr. Thunder Glasses gives it an A for our trivals and awesome. Until next time, I'm Mr. Sunglasses and play some more NES games. Crazy? <laughs>